Okay, I'm making a quick video concerning um, magnesium oil. Um, it's not necessarily an oil, and it is really made from magnesium flakes, what they consider magnesium flakes. Um, I've been using this for a pretty good while now, and when I first started using it, um, it was dealing with me struggling with doing work, physical work, that I just thought that it was, you know, time that your body started changing, but that's, it's been a while. But then when you look at the older generation, you was like, well, they wasn't complaining of, you know, being so painful after doing work. So when I came across this information, um, I came across this information on YouTube. Can't remember, it's been so long. Um, the thing about it is once I actually got the spray and I start using the spray, the, the problems that I was having doing yard work, I would put it on before and then I would uh, put it on afterwards. And I had to give it a time to actually get into my body real good. And you know, all, all along the way, I had to, I got to a point where I didn't really even have to use it doing, doing yard work or after yard work. Now sometimes I would do it anyway, just to make sure that, that if I had, any, if I did real heavy yard work or any kind of work, I would use it because I just didn't want to be sore. Because when I was doing yard work, at this time that I came across this situation, I mean, I would be sore for at least a week and a half. And I'm talking about real bad, where I could barely get out the bed without it being a struggle. So I've also used it for, um, like when you have, like I have, I had arthritis pain from a, uh, to a certain degree when I had a real bad car wreck and where I was holding on to the steering wheel real tight when I had the wreck. So I've been using that on my hands. It's been a while. Um, I still had a, a little bit of ache, especially in this hand. Um, that went away. I don't really necessarily have that to even come around. Now, what I've been dealing with in the last few years, um, this hand that I use for driving, and I use one hand a lot, um, and it, I've got this uh, corporal tunnel type stuff going on with my wrist. And when I did that an injury, that's when it first started. Now this is the only wrist that I really have a problem with. And like I said, it makes it worse when I drive, use my um, one hand driving. Um, also just with hard work. So just like now, I had a very uh, strenuous job that I had to do. So I don't have any aches and pains right now from that. But um, I also brought my bottle to show you how I, I mainly use it, um, how I mix it up. Now, you can also get a smaller bottle, um, like if you want to use a travel size, and I might need to do that myself because for the most part, I can use this at home. Um, sometimes I do throw it in the car with me if I have a reason. So um, it, it, it's a very... Uh, it has really made a big difference in my life. I mean, real big. You know, I talk about it a lot to different people. When you have a stiffness in your neck, it helps a lot. Cause I, I had got to a point where my neck was so tense just from the stress that I would have to lean my head back while I was driving. That's just how bad it was. Or when I, when I was like, if I was sitting here right now, I'd have to just, try to rest my head back or lean it forward because it got to a point where I couldn't even really, I didn't feel good about holding my neck up just because that pain was running up, up, up and down my neck from my, from my shoulders all the way up to, to the back of my head, like the, um, um, the skull bone, um, up in the, well, the skull muscle up by the skull. So anyway, I've used it on my feet. I've used it on my, um, my knees. Um, it's real good for menstrual cramps. I've used it for that also. But for the most part, when you get it in your body, even if you're taking um, magnesium supplement, 
this right here is really going to get you on point. And I did deal with, uh, I have, I, and I do deal with thyroid issues, and I realized that magnesium can be one of the supplements that you can be very low in. So I realized that that's probably what caused me to really have, or it had a lot to do with me having a thyroid problem also, um, other than uh, other few things, but that probably was a heavy weight. And it's also a very uh, powerful um, and much needed for magnesium is much needed for bone and muscle health. So, and then, then I also realized that the teeth is considered uh, bone. So I even use it um, in my, my toothbrush uh, uh, routine, mouthwash, whatever. Um, I also do the irrigation. So I use it, um, I put the, um, it's, it's, it's really a bitter taste it is the closest thing that I can get you to anybody to understand what it tastes like. Um, it's like the Epsom salt, because I also use Epsom salt, which is another form of magnesium, but I've used the Epsom salt when I did like a um, gallbladder flush. So anyway, it, it is a re it's not, a, it's not a, 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 a pleasable taste at all, but you get over it when you know it's doing real good things. Um, I felt it tighten up my teeth my teeth at one time I felt like they were getting kind of loose like at the bottom and I started just putting the magnesium oil in my mouth when I like I said when I brush my teeth like I might use a tooth uh, powder or whatever so that has been very positive also but for the main part I use it for my muscles I was having a whole lot of um, muscle cramps leg cramps uh, stomach muscle cramps like when I'd be sleep at night and I just turn a certain way, it might wake me up just because the muscle would be pulled in my stomach. Um, and I had been dealing with that along the years. I think my, you know, birthing children, I, it pulled a lot of my nutrients out. So once I found out about these uh, supplements and have incorporated them into my supplement routine, it's really, have, it's done wonders. So I just felt the need uh, to make a, a video about it. Also, one more thing that I, that's very important for me to put out here about this magnesium oil. The thing about it is my grandmother, which she, um, she's she been gone for going on a, f a few years now, but she had gotten to the point where her fingers were slanted. I don't know if you, some people have seen it, arthritis, and that's another reason why I go hard on this to try to keep bone health in order. Um, but her fingers were, were real slanted like this. And I started giving her some to rub on her hands. And like I said, my granny was real feisty, real feisty. So sometimes she didn't want to listen, but she got to a point where she was actually listening. And she started um, rubbing that magnesium all on her hands, on her fingers. And it wasn't until she was about 95 that her fingers had got real slanted. Um, but her fingers, started straightening back out uh, towards the end. They straightened up a pretty good amount. And her thumb had gotten, I had never seen anybody's thumb do that. Her thumb bones, both of her thumb bones were so fragile, like they were, It was, you just could tell that the bone had kind of deteriorated. And her bone, her, her thumb would be kind of like that sometimes. And I would make sure that she put it on her thumbs and her, her thumbs started getting back to being regular um, instead of being so thin where you could tell it was the bone that was thinning out. So I stand for this and I stand by this wholeheartedly. And my grandmama lived to be 101. She had a lot of stuff that she had to go through at the end. And that was another reason why I was really trying to work on her and keep her at, you know, at the best um, comfort zone that she could be. She didn't have any cancer or anything, but she had to go through a couple of, um, serious situations um, at the end when she was when she turned about a hundred so anyway uh, let me think of a few things that I might want to say real quick um, matter of fact I know another thing that I use for my granny the magnesium oil she would uh, I know at one time that she probably before she was even 90 I think she was like in her late 80s her rotary cup had um, had kind of uh, gone 
gone kind of thin, you know, where they have that ache in their in their shoulders. So um, I can't really think of it. But if I think of it, I'll, I'll put it in another video. But I think anybody that really knows what I'm talking about, they'll understand. So anyway, she would complain of having that pain in her shoulders, and I would rub the magnesium oil on her shoulders. And then later on, um, she wasn't really complaining about it anymore. And so since I already knew kind of how it worked, how it worked, you know, I would just make sure I put enough in there when she said, ooh, my shoulders are hurting. So I rubbed that uh, magnesium oil in there for her. And she, she really wouldn't be complaining about it later on. But see, my grandmama, she had her little ways. <laughs> she had her little ways. She was stubborn. And she didn't too much like to let you know when things were... Like when I was giving her these uh, different supplements and herbs, she wasn't really telling me. But it's just certain things that she kind of said, well, I'm not going to verbally say it. But what she started doing with her fingers, first of all, I can see that they were straightening up. So I didn't have to ask her about it. But the thing about it is she started putting on her jewelry again because she, she had taken her jewelry off and wasn't really wearing it. And I thought she was just to that point. So anyway, this is how she did. That's when I knew that she um that it was working because she put her her um rings back on her finger and she would be talking like this and i was i was seeing how happy she was when she was talking like you know she'll be talking to me like yeah you know blah 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 so i knew that even if she had arthritis in her fingers it was helping so that's why i paid a lot of attention to uh, my grandmother when i gave her supplements that i knew was working but to see it work on a person that was like 100 years old, because she didn't start taking anything really till she got 100, um, about around that time. Um, so when I saw that she did have improvements on things that I was giving her, um, I knew that if it can work on somebody that age, then it can work on people any age before or anybody, if they use it in the right way. But like I said, I mainly use it for the body, and it's good for the skin too. Um, but I use it to kind of th keep things in order because that's one thing that my grandmother uh, dealt with was osteoporosis and arthritis. So I know that from the history of the family, you can be deficient in things. And I, I want to try to head, head it off early, as early as possible. But I've had super uh, results from using the magnesium oil, just even when the with the jump in the rope. Um, I'll throw this out here with jumping rope. I put it on the front of my um, my on my front uh, leg part of my legs where you get the muscle pains like in down in the shins That's what I've been using and that really has made a difference So I just wanted to make a video about it to put it out there about the magnesium oil. All right